catch trout, snook, or ladyfish, and you end up catching pinfish on a spoon. So this has turned out to be how to catch pinfish on a spoon video, like I'm the expert in spooning. <laughs> what a surprise. So this little guy right here is uh, the way I'm working it is I'm just throwing it out there and I let it fall to the bottom and then I pull it up and then let it fall, pull it up, just kind of jig it like I would a, a swim bait. Makes it look like an injured minnow. There's a little fish. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of that dude. Woohoo! He must have been really hungry. Ha <laughs> ha! Fish on, baby! Well, that's a good start. Oh my gosh. Well. You believe that? Look at this, another pinfish on the small spoon. I'm killing them today. Woohoo! Hey, I'll take what I can get. Put him on for bait, man. That's a good sign. We've got small schools of minnows here, pinfish, rocks, and grass. You know that size of those pinfish here this would be a good place to come and catch bait to fish with really good sized pinfish for trout and Spanish mackerel and stuff like that it's not really the time of year for Spanish mackerel yet it's getting close though usually about the time September October rolls around here we get gigantic schools of greenbacks come into the coast of our beaches and that's the time to Spanish mackerel fish can't wait to make a video doing that and look at that another pinfish woohoo fish on well maybe I've come up with a new method for catching pinfish small spoon seems to be the ticket look at the size of that guy that's a good size for bait though isn't it my goodness It's important too when you're fishing on rocks like this. Got the right shoes on. I've got tennis shoes on today. I was fishing out in the Gulf the other day and uh, fishing for snook, and there were a bunch of rocks that were, you could get to them on the shore and little jetty that just kind of ran out, little peninsula area of rocks. And, uh, those rocks would always get a lot of water on them. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on, baby, fish on. Woohoo! A monster this time. Oh, yeah. I should just drag this out. It's the biggest fish I've caught all morning. Oh, look at that. Another pinfish. Oh, yeah. This video is going to be called How to Catch Pinfish on Spoons. No doubt. A little better one there. Okay, little guy. Get him. This is a little eyeball. See ya. Now, show you the size of the spoon, how big it is, the one that I'm using, in case you want to catch pinfish on spoons. Oh, got a pinfish. Got another one on. Oh my gosh. Got a whole school of them down here. 
they followed my lure in. There was about 20 or 30 of them, and I was just jigging it right in front of them. It was like a feeding frenzy. Gotta hurry up and get this guy off so I can get out there and catch another one. See you later, bud. Thanks for the catch. Look at this. Find somebody's home. Somebody likes to hang out over here, apparently. See you later, little guy. I'm here to catch ladyfish or snook or trout or whatever I could get on that spoon. I thought I'd catch something bigger, but it uh, turns out the pinfish were, the bite was on today for the pinfish. So uh, now I am the expert on how to catch pinfish with a spoon.